Today we'll discuss about basic design and sizing of centrifugal compressor. The main purpose of uh, centrifugal uh, sizing, main purpose of sizing of centrifugal compressor is to find out the diameter and impeller of compressor as well as the power of compressors. So what are the sizing steps to be followed? The basic design requires the input data for the required flow and inlet pressure, inlet temperature and discharge pressure and gas composition. For air compressor, barometric pressure, atmospheric temperature and relative humidity are required. An impeller is just selected for particular wheel family and calculation is done for the speed and diameter. So this is the uh, basic design of centrifugal compressor. Now what are the input data required? Normal volumetric flow rate or mass flow rate. This is one data. Then inlet pressure, inlet temperature, outlet pressure, gas composition for gas compressors. And for air compressor, we need the information about atmospheric pressures, atmospheric temperature and relative humidity. So these are the input data for sizing of centrifugal compressor. Now impeller selections, impeller is selected based on the requirement and once the impeller is selected, following design properties are taken from the impeller family like isentropic specific speed, holotropic specific speed, isentropic efficiency and holotropic efficiency, isentropic head coefficient and holotropic head coefficients. So either we can set one set of uh, isentropic efficiency and isentropic head coefficient or you can take holotropic efficiency and holotropic head coefficient. However, in these sections, isentropic efficiency and isentropic head coefficient will be used. So where ES and EP are isentropic and holotropic of uh, efficiency, uh, psi S and psi P is isentropic and holotropic head coefficient, NS and P are specific speed, and NP is a specific speed, but only difference and for NS and RPM Q is in meter cube per second and is isentropic head in joule per kg. For NP it is N in RPM Q in meter cube per second and HP holotropic head in joule per kg. Now gas properties. Gas properties are to be found based on the gas compositions, pressure and temperature. Now a step one through four to be repeated to find out the gas outlet properties. So step one, step two and step three and step four will have to be followed to find out the gas outlet properties. So based on the gas composition, inlet pressure, inlet temperature, find out mole weight M, inlet specific heat capacity at constant pressure CP1, inlet specific heat capacity ratio K1 and inlet compressibility factor Z1. Now step two, Estimate outlet temperature T2 and then based on the gas composition outlet pressure and estimated outlet temperature find out outlet specific heat capacity at constant pressure Cp2 outlet specific heat capacity ratio K2. Now Cp1 Cp2 are inlet outlet specific heat capacity at constant pressure K1 K2 are inlet outlet specific heat capacity ratio T1 T2 inlet outlet temperature z1 is a inlet compressivity factor m is a molecular weight of the gas now step 3 calculate the isentropic head rise of compressor which is explained which is expressed as hs is equal to z1 into k upon bracket star k minus 1 bracket close into r upon m into T1 into bracket star P2 by P1 to the power bracket start K minus 1 bracket close upon K minus 1 bracket close. Step 4 calculate the outlet temperature. Outlet temperature is equal to T2 is equal to T1 plus HS upon bracket start ES into CP bracket close. Above equation is derived from the basic equation of efficiency which is defined as isentropic efficiency ES is equal to isentropic head upon enthalpy rise so which is HS upon bracket start CP into bracket start T2 minus T1 bracket close it is to be noted that if the calculated outlet temperature is not the same as estimated outlet temperature then 
change the estimated value to the calculated outlet temperature and repeat the process from step 1 through step 4 until calculated outlet temperature becomes equal to estimated outlet temperature so when it is done once it is done then you can find already you have data for isentropic heat and outlet temperature what are these hs is isentropic heat rise p1 p2 is inlet outlet pressure k is average heat capacity ratio cp is average a specific heat capacity at constant pressure r is universal gas constant now next step is find the actual inlet volumetric flow if the normal volumetric flow rate is provided then multiply the density of gas at ntp with normal volumetric flow rate to convert it into mass flow rate in case of air compressor density of dry air at ntp is a fix that is 1.294 kg per meter cube so multiply this density with normal volumetric flow rate of air to convert it into mass flow rate then divide the inlet density of gas or air whichever is whichever is applicable to get the inlet actual flow rate if the mass flow rate is given then convert actual inlet flow rate by dividing with inlet density of gas or air which is applicable so inlet actual actual flow rate q in is equal to mass upon bracket start rd1 into 3600 bracket close now speed of impeller a speed of impeller is calculated using the specific speed formula isentropic specific speed ns is equal to n into q in to the power 0 0.5 upon hs to the power 0 0.75 so impeller of a speed n is equal to ns into hs to the power 0 0.75 upon qn qn to the power 0 0.5 now next step is a standard speed of impeller so selected a standard speed select the standard speed which is equal to or more than calculated speed so based on that we can select the standard speed of impeller so what are these the q in is the inlet actual flow in meter cube per second m is a mass flow rate kg per hour rd1 is inlet density kg per meter cube and is rpm now diameter of impeller outer diameter of impeller is calculated as below outer tip velocity u2 is equal to a square root 2 into hs upon psi s then outer diameter of impeller d2 is equal to u2 into 60 into 1000 upon bracket start pi into n bracket close so this way you can calculate the outer diameter then a standard diameter of impeller select the standard diameter which should be equal to or more than the calculated diameter so with this we can calculate speed and diameter of impeller now actual tip speed of impeller actual tip speed of impeller limits the head rise based on moc of impeller it should not more than allowable speed as per moc of impeller and it is calculated based on the selected standard speed and selected standard impeller diameter so tip speed or actual tip speed u2 is equal to pi into d2 into n upon bracket star 60 into 1000 where now d2 or n are standard diameter and a standard speed now compressor power compressor power is equal to mass flow rate into isentropic heat rise upon isentropic efficiency so compressor power is equal to m into hs upon bracket start es into 3600 into 1000 bracket close where u2 is outlet 
tip speed of impeller in meter per second and it was outer diameter of impeller in millimeter so thank you thank you for watching